He showed up to my house one night. He brought this bow and arrow that he had made. Now, I, I raised kids already. But to have Dawn around is like having a big kid. So it's like, hey, Dawn, artwork on the walls. Don't shoot that in my house. It's an outside toy. <laughs> And there was always those moments with Big D, whether he and I were arguing or talking about the Arts District or talking about the future. He was the kid in all of us. And he had compassion. And I got to share that with him. And I'm grateful because just knowing him, I was blessed by knowing him. So. Now, let's keep that kid alive, okay? And every one of us. And yes, we are. Thank you. I just wanted to say a couple words. My name is Tim Shen, and I uh, obviously I had a few dealings with Don as a city commissioner in the city of Millville. And the one thing that I can mention about Don Cosmoon was the fact that he was very passionate, pretty much passionate about anything he got involved in, whether it be his community, his work, his art, the groups of people he ran with, he was very passionate. And I was fortunate to, to get to know Don over the last seven, eight years. And a real quick story I'll tell you, because I want to lighten this up just a little bit. And I was at a party with Don, and I saw a couple of medallions he had on, and I asked him, I said, what do I got to do to get, get you to commission a medallion just for me? Something that's going to fit me perfectly. He says, well, let me think about this. So about two weeks goes by, he gives me a call, he brings me down to the shop, he says, what do you think about this? And I looked at it, it was a nice little medallion, had a beer mug on it, and it said, drunk and stupid. <laughs> I said, I think that's absolutely perfect for me. I want, like, ten of them, because I got a bunch of buddies to get drunk and stupid. So Don whipped up these medallions for me, got them on the nice leather cord, called me up, he says, listen, your medallions are done. I call all my buddies, we run down to the shop, we get our medallions, we put them on. We go out, we get drunk and stupid. I go home, go to go to the bathroom, open up the basement door, take one step, 
down the steps I go, rip off my ear, spend the night in the hospital getting my ear reattached to my head. <laughs> Wearing my drunken stupid <laughs> Doctor looks at me and says, are you drunk? I said, are you stupid? <laughs> so I get home, I take the medallion off. I said, this medallion's bringing me bad luck. I go to Don, I said, Don, the medallion was great. I said, but the first night I wore it, I went out, got drunk and stupid, and ripped my ear right off my head. <laughs> Don's answer to me was, I never promised you protection without medallion. <laughs> So the drunk and stupid, big down, do I miss it, boy? So little time. That's a hard act to follow. That's a hard act to follow. I'm drunk, I'm stupid, but I haven't followed any other stuff yet. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and my ear? But, I mean, who was Big Don? Big Don was bigger than life. I mean, anyone that had the chance to know Big Don. Uh, just had an experience, I mean, he had to grip the experience. Oh, it's like, Grover told me that, like, uh, speaking to the mic. What <laughs> <laughs> out. Yeah. But, I mean, words are, like, insufficient, like, to, to talk. I mean, people, uh, everyone knows Big Don the Pirate, Big Don on High Street, and uh, I feel really blessed that I got to really know Don. Um, there were nights that he would just come to our house, usually uninvited. But, <laughs> but he brought a 12, 12 pack, so that made up for that. <laughs> and we sit on the front porch in the back deck, and I got to know Don. And we would talk. And it's like, I'm blessed to call him my friend. And I really don't call too many people friend. Very few people are like that close to me, but um, I mean, he was a true friend. On a later day, we were talking and uh, it came up tonight and it was like it came from several sources. We all said, what would Big Don do? What would Pirate Don do? It's like, City commission meeting, you disagree with what's going on, what would you do if you were done? You walk in with a sledgehammer. Um, you're on the high street, you disagree with uh, what uh, somebody else is doing, what do you do? You challenge them to a duel. <laughs> right? I mean, what would Big Don do? I mean, that's what I think about now. It's like, every decision I'm making, I'm going to say, what would Big Don do? And uh, that might be the uh, ruination of a political career, or it might be, uh... uh hey, Carl, you got to run on the fire station now. You're the next one. <laughs> nah. Nobody can pull their shoes. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody can pull their shoes. So, I'm not going to make this drag on, but... Uh, Big Don was my friend. And I loved him. And Millville and everybody has suffered a big loss.